When I first came here, maybe I would see two Latinos a month or something. You know, driving around, you never saw anybody next to you driving. <laughs> you know, you never saw a Latino in a, a car next to you. Never. Solamente, realmente tenemos más o menos 20 años de ser una comunidad de muchos inmigrantes. Y pienso que todavía necesitamos más tiempo a entender que realmente somos una comunidad muy diversa. It's always been a mixed family since, you know, we were raised in America, but we still have those, I guess you say, Latino cultures. We know language represents identity, and it's one of these cases that are so neat where language perfectly represents identity. By mixing two languages, you get a mixed way of speaking that mirrors the identity of a person who feels that they're, they're part of two different cultures, two different worlds. We always talk like that. It's like I say something in English and then I come and say something in Spanish, and you don't mean it, it just... It's just half English, yeah. half Spanish. And it's, it sounds right for us, though. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds right. I think people underestimate the amount of work it takes for a parent, whether it's both, because we actually know parents, the kids that have both parents that are, you know, their native language is Spanish, but they're, it's still, maybe because they're in an English-speaking world, it's very difficult to raise that child as a Spanish-speaking child. We have a program here that we have, we seek over 180 kids. What we're noticing, which is really sad, is that the children prefer English over Spanish. And that's part of wanting to belong. You know, if you live in a country that everybody speaks English, you want to speak English. You want to look like other people. It was hard for me um, having that sense that um, I have to speak it because I have to. Um, and there are some people who don't speak it because it's not perfect, because I had an accent too. So I was like, they're going to make fun of me because I have an accent. The unique aspect of learning English in the Southeast is the particular mixture of Spanish features with Southern features. And part of that is who they associate with, how they adapt, to their social context and how they feel about themselves as they relate to this new language and uh, a new identity in the southern United States. If I go to Houston, they already know where I'm from. Oh, you're from North Carolina, because the way I speak, you know? So I guess they can tell and I can tell, you know? And I'm like, how can you tell, you know? Sometimes I wish I would lose my accent, you know, because like, even if I speak on the phone, oh, hey, Marie, I'm like, how you know it's me? Well. <laughs>